they didn't win a single round, if I recall correctly. Yeah. So, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, Granary is a map where things get slowed down, and as the game actually starts right now, Broder is going up against Epsilon Esports once again. Here in the ESA Open Cup, Team Fortress 2 Open Cup, I should probably say, powered by Ozone Gaming, which you can find at Twitter at Ozone Gaming. And obviously, give a big shout out to them for sponsoring this tournament with the headsets, with all the, the hardware stuff. And it gives us the opportunity to watch amazing games like this all day long. Epsilon Esports versus Broder. The first middle here on the second map. Taking a look at the soldier there. I think it was uh, Zebosai. He is on 10 HP. Can't do anything at the moment. He is out of action onto middle. And now Numlock walks over the point. That's always bad news when he's spamming grenades and sickies at the health back. Means that they've got position here. And Broder are yeah, carrying on from where they left off. And Numlock takes down Rip. And it's just Mirilin alive again. Mirilin should get picked off here. Unless he gets a slice. No, he doesn't. Mirilin goes down to Numlock. And... I'm gonna. I would love to hear the Broder comments, but I'm gonna hear what Epsilon have to say here, just to see if they're Sticky feeling very joyous. Sticky spawn threats, Spike. Here we go. <laughs> cool. Let them out! Let them out! Let them out! Let's use the door open. Use it, okay? <laughs> left two. Left side. Left. 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 left three. Good and heavy. Nice. Sorry, I buffed you. Sorry, I'm oh, nice. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's awesome. Do you just can, love can the tra just transition? <laughs> Bite, that's the number one team in Europe against the number two team in Europe. I uh, cannot believe what I'm hearing. They don't care, they're having fun, they, they just... Well, they're playing with Broder at the moment, I cannot believe what I'm hearing. They don't really care anymore, and Epsilon Esports and Broder, they're both gonna reach the second middle. And from what I just heard, I don't think there's any way that Epsilon has any sort of pressure. And there they are, but Dukebox comes out huge, killing out Nox and Kimberly, and that's three men down, Numlock's in, taking down Zephyrside and Rope, could this be an absolute wipe, it is now two versus two, could it be an absolute turnaround, they're going for different players, and Shocky, oh my <laughs> god, Dukebox did all the work there, and then somehow Broder managed to mess that up with Numlock going huge, and then with Mike going huge, and taking down the Medic, and it ends up with Shocky capping this point. It does mean, though, Pledge, that Broda have a slight reprieve and can hold second. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what Mirren runs here. Nox. It must be a crit screen on Nox. He spawned first, and he did spawn with a player in the back. Yeah, he, no, he's actually running regular Uber, so the counter meta game. What is Marilyn running at the moment? By Uber. He's he's run, yeah, yeah, he's running Uber. So both teams are actually uh, running Uber at the moment. Uh, no weird classes or anything of the sort. So this is the first time. This is where Broda can actually slow the game down if they manage to hold these choke points aggressively. The question is, though, how much of an sort of impression of Epsilon already left there? Do they want to cover these jokes? You can see Epsilon, they're already spamming. They're already putting down the pressure. They're not going to just sit back, build off the Zebra. That's not what they do. They're going to try and sort of break through here. Both of these Zebra charges right now are ready. So Merlin almost has it. Oh, Merlin's going to have it. Merlin's going to lose his demo as well. Oh, just catches him there. Rib on 26 HP. And this is going to be very interesting to see if they can get out, but they do lose the powerhouse, that is Mike, but they still have Nomlots in gear. Those two together are just lethal, plus Stefan. It's going to be um, very hard for them to do. In fact, the soldier on the left-hand side here, Pledge, trying to sneak in, but he's been spotted there from, from Epsilon, so he's going to have to drop out. I think it's Jukebox. Yeah, it is Jukebox. No, I think, I think Broder should just be happy with the fact that for the first time ever, they managed to equal an engagement here. Yeah, uh, that's, a it's, very, it's, that's a very It hasn't call. happened yet, so the, the, now, finally, this Yard fight was even. And an even fight has not happened yet. Yeah, last middle, I guess, with 11 down, that was relatively even, but obviously you lose a point. That still doesn't count, so we'll have to wait and see right now. Both of these superchargers again. Almost ready to rock and roll boxes a little bit earlier, but Marilyn is going to have his no problem whatsoever. And again, Broder's going to have to try and hold on a second time. This is slowing down the Dodgers game. Broder's in on the right. in their favor, and let's see if Epsilon can break through here. They're trying. They get the pick up the seven side, no Uber's force just yet, but it's a six versus five in favor of the Reds. And there, uh, Mike gets taken down from Cookie, and it's five versus five at the moment. Uber versus Uber, but Jubal gets dropped by Mirilin. They are a player down, and that scout is in no man's land. Needs to be careful. What is what can Rib do? Oh, the scout manages to stay alive. We're getting the health out there, that was very close. It might still mean, I was going to say, it might give them a little riff free, but I don't think Epsilon will let them have this point for free because they are minus a player. And Numlock will be saying, this is my point, get out. And Rib's still on this point, so... Yeah, no, in fact, that's a pick off there from Gear, taking down Zappos. That's that's a nice pick. That's going to cause some confusion, I think, Pledge. I just... <laughs> if you see how much stickies and pipes all across the point for Numlock at the moment, he's just completely zoning everything you can see. Now he gets taken down. This might be a little bit of a window, but a lot of pressure onto Rib. He gets one scattergun shot in his face, gets protected by Cookie, though. Very well played, as Kimberly did not manage to, let, to land that second meat shot onto Rib. And now Broder, 
They might have a little bit of a window here. No, of course, no, no, Marks no, has no, that Uber. Uh, is it going to hit them though in time? That is my question. Because Maryland is sitting on that 85% and they're not really moving forward. They're kind of just holding position. Now the Uber is being forced off. Maryland doesn't have a jet, but with just two soldiers and a medic, do they have the capping power in order to make this one work? Because Mr. Rib himself, he's actually dropping all the way back to last. There's a player on last somewhere, I'm guessing. As right now, there's already a player coming in from the front. It's one of the soldiers from Epsilon. Can he get the pick? No, he cannot. Mr. Mike forces that Uber out onto Maryland. Knox obviously already used his. Broder's going to try and make their way through here. I think Epsilon just in too comfortable of a defensive position here to make this one work. And an exchange that was in the favor of Broder still worked out in Epsilon's way. Yeah, that was shocking. I can't believe Maryland wasn't connected to anything for so long. If he was, he could have easily held second there with relative ease. Instead, he had to drop back, and he even got forced, so it was a defensive Uber. And now Epsilon Esports have a clear 30% window, and Numlock's trying to spam it here, but then uh, Cookie is now pushing Numlock back completely. Nothing against the heavy they can do, really, without the Uber, and they are going to have it way before 35% of an advantage, and they're just going to focus heavy here. The, the, the key to this part, play is forcing it early. They've got to force it early. They have done a little bit, but not early enough, I don't think. Let's take a look at this. The soldier gets taken down jukebox as well. Merlin might have this in time, but he might not have the numbers. This is going to be very, very close. Heavy is on the point, gets Ubered. And now it's a scout who's jumping all over the point behind the medic, and they haven't actually <laughs> seen him. Oh my god. It's just like, oh He's still dear. not dead. And Shocky is still sitting there. 8 HP now into spawn. Coming back out. Dick gets shot down by the oh respawner, dear. but Epsilon. Like, obviously the Uber came out, but the damage was already being done, and Epsilon Esports able to just spread out, making sure that they couldn't focus fire a couple of people simultaneously with area of effect damage, and making sure they, they stayed sort of around with that five, da five, five players against three players. Obviously, Epsilon's going to be able to pick that one off. Two to nil, already on the board. And even though that round took a little bit longer, and Broder sort of took the speed out of the Epsilon train, at least for the time being, Looks like they're still going to be in a lot of trouble. One scout, though, very, very weak here for Epsilon Esports, but Rib has to sort of back out into that corner, and he immediately gets focused by a lot of players. Can the soldier get the pick? It doesn't look like it. As Merlin actually is still very alive. Nice. Great serve coming yeah. out from him. And in all honesty, Merlin, right? Oh not my god, Nomok really pick up a triple already. Is he going to be able to pick up a quadra? He's not. So he does drop down to the floor, knocks last man standing here for Epsilon, but Broder, for the first time in eight middles, they pick one up. Yeah, but they have got the disadvantage of an Uber, so maybe Merlin will go crits, but that was a great serve by Merlin, nothing more he could do. He, he got past the one soldier, but the other soldier focused him, sorry, other demo man, sorry, the demo man focused him, and then just took him out. And I'm not getting three frags, they're going absolutely huge. This is the thing with Epsilon, I mean, they've got so many players that can come up with some magic, and just take out two or three players in one go by themselves, so Mike, Numlock, Gear, Shocky, Bash, basically all of them. Um, so even Nox. Yeah, even Nox maybe with the arrow, that's the, that's the, that's the thing, so... Just sublime to see, but um, like you said, Broder have now ha actually won the middle, but they are about to push with this Uber. No, Dumlock is pushing up top, he's getting spammed here, so is the scout, they're going to have to Uber very early. The scout gets taken down here, Dumlock gets Ubered. It's actually like a defensive Uber, so that's very well played by Jukebox and a spam from Broder there. And they do manage to get out in time, and they will be able to repush this. They need to not rush this, why are they rushing this? Why, 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 why are you rushing it? Why? I guess oh, the backup yeah. is uh, pretty much the reason oh, for it. They need it. to block. They need to block. Oh, okay, they are going to block it. coming in in time. They need to juggle players. Not going to happen. Backup is going to land. And his brother really going to be able to pick up a round. Zemisai already making his way to last. Are there any spawners? I doubt there's. Yeah, there's oh, one. Oh, him. great shot there onto Kimberly. As Zemisai picks her off, he takes oh, up man. that point. And it was a backup that was needed for Broder to pick this one up. And you can say whatever you want. You can think about this however you want. But in the end, the scoreline is only 2-1. to one. And theoretically, it is still close. Yes, th yeah, indeed. Theoretically, it's still close. This might actually spark something for Broder. Let's say their team comes here. Okay. Let's go with them then. Yeah. yeah. Scout top. So you're right. I'm on top. Shall I jump you? Shall I jump you? I'm with you. Top is coming. Medic wing. Medic wing. Soldier above us. Soldier above us. Soldier wing on their kid. Help me. Soldier wing on their kid. Come to me. Go right side. Top is. Just guess right. Is soldier still above us? Yeah, he's down. Down, down, down. Two still down. Nice. Guys from back right side. Watch out, two scouts are left, guys. Yeah. Just loving that raw injection of adrenaline in their place. You can tell the difference here you know, when they start mm. coming there. It's just so much quicker. They're like more frantic, more, you know, it's like trying to be more aware and just help each other. And it's such a difference when that round. I mean, if they got around, that was enough. 
Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Nox obviously did go down into that exchange. Actually, the two scouts were only like 20 HP. Rib does get dropped here, but in all honesty, I don't think Broder's going to manage all that that much. They're going to send in a couple of players as long as they need to keep the cap. And like Cookie what that goes doing? down as well. It is an awful exchange. Shocky right now onto the point. He was sitting in the back. This point is not oh, going to get captured. Dear. And it is a six versus two exchange. After Rib went down, that Uber charge was not correct from Errol, and Cookie dropped as well. And just the sheer coordination of that play was incorrect. And Epsilon Esports managing to pick that one out of the bag. Basically punish the mistakes we saw coming out of Broder right there. And they pick up a middle point and actually straight go through to that yard area. This is what Epsilon loves. Put the gauntlet down. See what they can do. Zebesai sitting into that forward spawn. You can see they're not even capping in the middle at the moment. Zebesai is going to sit in that forward spawn. He knows the advance is there. Sniper here is very much so a correct decision. If he can land the shot, things can turn around once again. But... In the, on honesty, if he cannot, Epsilon Esports is looking for a quick round here. Yeah, they should be, and that mistake they hit, all they should have done, it should have been standard routine, but Numlock goes down for that Uber, and now Zebesai can switch. Yes, he can switch yeah. in time. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he almost got to get that second Oh, bucket. he's dead. Oh, dude, he takes him down. But um, if they get out here with five men alive, it should be good. If the Soldier goes down here, he will. They might not be able to count this either. In fact, they won't be able to count this because Rib is still alive with Sticky, so he can push back the scouts and. Yeah, going back to that mistake from Merlin, it should have been standard stuff, right? It should have been Rib Ubered, pushing them back, the scouts cap, or the scout, one of the scouts helping Rib and the other scout cap. That simple, but it didn't seem to work out for Merlin, unfortunately. But um, they have managed to recover, and now Merlin has a full 60% Uber charge advantage, and they are pushing him with the soldier behind who's had to force it. So he's forced it, and it's gear. He will get taken down shortly. He will get focused. He's still on 100 odd health, though, so they're going to leave him now. Oh, the scouts. Oh my god, he's been taken down. Zappis gets owned, and. Oh, they're in trouble here, I think, surely. Mm, I, I don't really like what Broder actually ended up doing there. Marilyn comes in onto Nox! Oh my god. They both get a saw each. Nox gonna pick that one up and immediately get that Uber charge out. Now look at that. That's what I'm saying, right? That Michael Pocket, he doesn't miss those shots. The quick flick back to the shotgun gets that one in onto Cookie and he eats that one with his face. Immediately see Epsilon pushing on out of this one. And with the full Uber charge, with six players left alive against a still dead Marilyn and a crippled Broder here, they're going to push their way onto last, probably in about, well, 10 seconds or something like that, in true Epsilon style, and they're going to look to make this one 3-1. Yeah, I mean, look at the combo damage stats, it's Mike with 1,700, Numlot with 1,500, and Gear with 1,000. That's the, you know, the core of Epsilon, just literally right there. Um, uh, it's just insane, and now they're pushing out with a heavy fat Zappis. Is, has gone heavy on the left hand side here, but he's going to be absolutely roasted. No chance. With two scouts on him, oh my god, it just reminds me of uh, StarCraft 2 with all those. Uh, literally, is it Zords on him? Or literally, that was insane. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, literally everything around him there. Just two scouts bouncing around, Ubered, and just pistoling and meat shotting him, everything. No. Oh dear. Feels like a like if you're if you if you're playing Protoss, so you have a stock out in the open, and suddenly there's about 17 zerglings that sort of run around you. It is uh, very much so very, very, very depressive to see <laughs> if you can see the heavy right there. Kimberly picked up a triple there, actually, even though she and Shocky hit the same target every single time. Uh, she managed to pick up all those frags, which actually landed her pretty much on top of the frag board there during that round. But as you said, the damage got taken, the damage specifically, that was the really key difference between the two teams. Mike, Gear, and Numlocked were the three top damaging by quite a clear margin as well. As uh, they managed to just get a lot of damage done. The core from Epsilon doing absolute monstrous work so far. And with the 3-1 to one lead, they're going to feel super comfortable. Broder, they did have an opportunity that round, though. You can say whatever you want, but they had a chance. Did not take it, though. Definitely. Um, they made they, they could have easily made it 2 all with that round when they had the Ubichar advantage. But Merlin dropped Rib. Rib should have just pushed there, and they should have had a clear call there to push out. It would have been standard routine. But Epsilon, like you said, you cannot afford to make a mistake like that against Epsilon. They will decimate you and that is just like a wreck like a train wreck literally um they just give no mercy whatsoever so brutal um i would love to hear the comms from epsilon again i'm pretty sure it's all joyous like i said before and numlock was just yeah laughing it off and, and saying not open don't open the door till they come out so i get the quick frags and all that stuff so um yeah you know they're obviously having fun um, and yeah, they just want to get over and done with it. Looks like they've gone live here, Pledge. Yeah, they've gone live. Both teams are going regularly. Uber. I kind of want to hear how serious Epsilon is still taking it, because obviously last time, it was on a last point where they knew they were going to take the round. This is a fresh start. Can you plug me in? Yeah. But Epsilon, yeah? Yeah. Sure. Coming through, some. Push left, push left. Push left. Okay, okay. Yeah, but it's fun. Stay left, stay left. 
Medic weak, 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 medic Nice. Why do you deny my melee kill? Why do you not like them? Someone high five me, please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay, let's push directly, Gary. When I'm surprised. And there's Numlock having fun with the scout. Yeah. And then there's there's Nox going serious mode. Like, like, okay, guys, we're gonna go garage. Push directly. Blah blah blah. You say whatever you want, Numlock. Was you're serious on middles, right? That's the way it is. Yeah, but yeah. In all honesty, the one thing that won on that middle straight up was the double air shot from Mike coming yeah, out. Yeah, that's so um, sick. It was absurd how good that shot was. Managed to pick up the double, and there's a sniper right now. Broders is trying everything in their power in order to block the super from coming in, but it is gonna happen. Zebesai and Rip both go down. Two for one exchange in favor of Epsilon Esports right now. And the Blues are going to manage to make their way into last here. Right hand side is their way of choosing. No sniper, no demo. Keep that in mind. The entire core of Frodo is gone. And their scouts and their roamer are going to have to try and make this one work. Or Marilyn with some sort of weird saw. He's on 75%. There might be a little bit of a window here. The scouts oh. doing good work though. Cookie and oh, Zap is picking up a four man so far. Can they pick up number five? <laughs> so Zebesai is going to take that one away from them and five kills the from the scouts and one from Zebesai is going to be able to clean that one up. That was a very, very good exchange. The patience from Zappas and Cookie for that one. Absolutely Oh, they're trapped phenomenal. in spawn. They're trapped in spawn as well, Pledge. They are trapped in spawn. So they've all had to switch now. So middle will be theirs for free while um, Rip stickies that spawn and they just need to get on that point and that's what it's done. Uh, sorry, that's what he's done. And now they're just going to be content in holding second. And Maryland has a clear uber charge advantage here. If they pay this right, Pledge, they should be able to get second for free or maybe muscle them out or kill a load of people and uber just to get second. And in fact, gear goes down. So now they're in trouble here. Mike comes in. More. No, Mike comes in. He actually... Wow. Okay, Maryland in the end. Three players is a little bit too much for him to handle. As on 9 HP, he sort of delayed his uber for some reason. I think he was just a little bit scared about the fact he actually lived there. The uber has been uh, has been played with. And Broder right now, six versus four. No soldiers alive. Nomlock's going to have to be the guy to try and make this one happen. Rip cannot die here. I think that is the one crucial part. If Rip dies, this push fails. They need keep, to cap. Keep him alive. Oh, They're going to be beautiful. in good shape. And Broder on the flank, managing to pick up three. Very well played. Epsilon's going to have to jump all back. And even though they have to supercharge, I can bet your ass there's going to be six reds swarming all over last year in a bit. Yeah, definitely. Let's hear the team comes for this from Brodo. I'm sure Zebesai so, yeah. will see. Going now. I'm in. Ah, I have medic like 50. Okay, you back. Nice, get back. Nice. nice. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go up top, go up top. You got 90. Okay, I'm on point. I'm waiting, I'm, I'm waiting. Point. I don't have you. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, go. Go now. I'm with you, I'm with you. You push. Skyway grind. Laggy. Yeah, uh, fine. don't over extend. What? Go back, go back. I go back. We are failing, we are Sorry, failing. Help to roop someone. Help to roop someone, right side. Nice. 600, alright. Uh, I need ammo now. So do I. Nice. I'll Make go, it. garage. Uh, they got This is much better, bud. Like, I don't know if you heard that, but they realized their mistake. Very, yeah. very early on, they yeah. realized. And on Batland, they kept doing it over and over again. They sort of jumped in there and thought they still had a shot. They did not. And this time around, they went on towards that right side, realized their Ubers run out. They had no chance anymore. They dropped out early, didn't lose a single player. Now, Maryland, actually 95%. They might this. have a good shot at holding this. They kind of need a free pick or something, though, because Epsilon is in full front position. Broder's going to have to use early, and Nox only. Demo gets man, dropped. Not Demo even gets that, dropped. using Nomlock gets dropped. Very well played. Nox is going to use the supercharge, though, but it is a 6 versus 5, and Broder, without the Dammelman damage coming out for Epsilon Esports, they're in good shape, but it's a 5 versus 4. The scouts might be able to play onto this one. Rip is a little bit alone. He is still alive, though, and in honesty, it took them a couple of players to take that. Mike, but they're in good shape. They hold on towards the second point. It is very difficult now to hold on. Double scout comes in. One goes down. Second one now goes down in Broder's hands. And Broder does now finally, in the end, have to drop out. But they have a slight win of Uber in which they might be able to make a couple of plays. Yeah, gear almost getting shut down, but then Kimberly comes and helps uh, gear there and takes down Jukebox. And now he's under pressure, Rib, from Doma. But Rib gets taken down by Kimberly there and. She'll get taken down as well there. That's a very well played by Kimberly. They're pushing there on the right. Helping gear initially. That was uh, very well played. And it looks like Epsilon. Oh, but Nomlox in no man's land. And Zebosite goes for the medic. And he takes him down with the Uber. Because Nox didn't have it in time. And they need to be careful here. Gear takes down Cookie from behind. 
He should be going down here for Scout Kanim. He does aim, and that's four players down for Epsilon Esports. But then again, Zipperside gets taken down by Shocky on the left-hand side, who is... how much health? 39. Mike still in, remember? Look at this! Can the Medic get the health back? Oh. Merlin is still dodging! <laughs> I cannot believe that the Latvia Medic stays alive. Famous for his dodging. And right there, it actually did show. The shots did not get landed from the Epsilon Scouts and Soldiers, for that matter. And Burner now with an uber advantage, a player advantage, and an everything advantage, making their way towards the second point. With the supercharge hitting in like 15 seconds or something like that, and with gear going down specifically, the advantage once again going into the absolute favor. The pressure now to unlocked. No, I'm not sure how much I like this. There was a lot of players sitting into that corner. Jukebox got taken down. I actually thought it was Zebeside. That would have been a problem. But they're going to try and push now. Left hand side probably with double scout. That is the way they're going to try and do it. Devilman is sitting right behind as well. No one can die. No one's and they two or three frags in order to make this one work. They still have an Uber. They're already sitting on the point. Now the Uber charge off. They need two or three frags. But so far, there's Maybe only one. Focused. Now comes a top second. Are they going to be able to get oh, a third? They're, they're going to grab the cap instead. And the score, ladies and gentlemen, at the moment is 3-2. Still in favour of Epsilon, but Broder's ahead in the second half. Indeed, that was a very well uh, very well played Uber by Merlin, i got to say. Didn't use it, didn't use it, didn't use it. Until the very last time when they were capping players. They were just initially capping with still the Uber in hand. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was sublime. That was poor play by Epsilon to not force it early. Um, but nonetheless, uh, they still came out top there, Broder, with making it 3-2 now, deficit. Only one round. Looking over middle at the moment, they may have some injection, but Cookie gets taken down straight away. There is a jukebox bomb, and jukebox is oh. huge! Once again, but they are three players down. They need to be careful here, Broda. They've lost the medic. Mirren is still up, and Numlock's still chasing. So is the scout. They're not. They're just brutal, just relentless. They're just not letting run, them have run. this. Yeah. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> and it's like Broden knows this. They practice games all the time, right? It's like Batsu knows this as well. This is the way Epsilon plays. This is the way Broder plays when they clearly win middles against lower level teams. Against Epsilon, though, that is not the way it works. But the coordinated spam there from both Rib and Numlock, with uh, Rib and, and Jukebox, sorry, with the bomb coming in. Absolutely phenomenal. Nox caught, I think he caught a pipe and a rocket at the same time. It was pretty damn spot on as Nox immediately went down. The Uber charge advantage is here. The player still, six versus six, and they're going to make their way on towards the middle. Hard point to push, though. Going to be Broder. I'll be interested to see if Merlin tries to use. He may not use this, but he does use it. That was crucial that he did use it, and gear does force it. But that's actually good picks there. You know, if they get numbers on this, they won't get a dumb man here on support. In fact, they should just push it anyway, because he won't get... Crit's Creek. They need to be it's careful. It's a crit screen comes at Nox and Numlocked is down. This could so be, this could be it, No, but Soldier If anyone can do this, it's Mike, though. It's, if Chris. anyone can do this, here he goes! God, God, it's going to be so close. I cannot believe that. He only got the kill on the Zappis, though. And on the other side, I don't know if you caught that fight, but Rim actually sticking up the spawn. And Numlocked got killed out of that. So far behind lines. Numlocked actually oh. ended up getting killed. And Broder winning the exchange because Huge. of that. Two for one at the moment. Marilyn and Jukebox together up against Gear. Gear's going to have a little bit of a player. About 15 HP. It's just a matter of time before he gets <laughs> shot down in the face. Many crit comes down. And Numlock, the last or earliest player standing. Let's hit, let's hit Epsilon, right? We've got to hit Epsilon now. See if they're feeling it. Um, we stuck on our last again. Mm -hmm. We have to do something, I think. We can't stay on us, let's try something from the top. Let's try to make a pick. Yeah. We, need lots, we need lots of time on right side, they seem to come in right side a lot so they can get a lot of ground for free. I'm pushing top of Mike, Rich. Top, Emi, top, Emi, top. Nice one on, Emi top, Rich. Post is left, post is left. Demo top. I'm down. Scout point. Heavy as soon as you off, heavy as soon as you off. Heavy, heavy, heavy on point. Nice. Nice. Demo, 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 Demo's house. Good job, Warplage. Sort of yeah, huge advantage now. Yeah. Can I too? Interesting to uh, hear there. They were sounding a bit fed up or not as joyous as before. Well, Shall we say, Pledge? I, 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 guess, I guess this is what happens when Broder doesn't spend the hour before the game doing nothing, and Epsilon <laughs> does, right? Like, yeah. it took him about 20 or so minutes, which was Batlands, <laughs> in order to prepare <laughs> and to wake up. Now that Broder finally has, now that they finally got a little bit of momentum after that early backup, if you remember backup. Spice, 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 spice. Now spice, there's spice. a little bit of a chance. Epsilon's going to try and play for this one, though. Maryland goes down, Jukebox goes down. The point almost gets capped at the moment, though. Not Nomlock's getting a lot of pressure onto him from Cookie onto that side. And Epsilon, they would have loved to pressure onto that one, but the Zevisai spike combined with the Cookie pressure on the side managed to do a lot of damage. Rib gets the kill to Mike, though. I doubt he's going to be able to stay alive. 18 HP on the Swedish Demoman at the moment. 
stays alive for the time being. And Epsilon, it looks like, barely going to be capping this one off. But are they overextending with the rampaging Scandinavians coming in? They should recap this. They have no numb lots. They should really crit heals for Rib. Merlin, Merlin, heal him. Merlin, heal Rib. Jeez. Never mind, they can see the crit heals coming in. They don't have the numbers just yet. And this is what's going to happen. It's going to be an absolute meat fest. Oh, Rib needs some help. Oh, he's not going to get any help from the scouts there. Oh, that should have been Broders, I thought, but it didn't work out for them. And now Epsilon Esports will come up with a reply to try and cement this win and match overall. Mirrodin is managing to get out, but he's being chased. He's on 106 HP, 112. Still being chased, but he will get support, actually. People will jump him. Oh, it's close, Mirrodin! <laughs> Well played, uh, e Epsilon spawn raves and goes aggressive so often, they know exactly when to drop back, and now when they have the time, now when they have the players, and the scouts are capping off of that middle point, they're going to put the pressure down once again. Jukebox, the first one to feel the wrath that of that pressure, and it looks like we have a pause, ladies and gentlemen, so that means absolutely nothing, as <laughs> the 3 to 2 is still on the board at the moment. Like, you can analyze this as you get 90 seconds someone can no you really can't we've seen so many scenarios where it was just a middle of the round um sort of stalemate thing not mid fight though that's not the way it works <laughs> but um Marilyn here there's an 84 percent uber count on him at the moment it is locked we're not going to see exactly when he has the uber when this pause unhappens but he's going to have the uber pretty much when the middle gets capped so that means that epsilon is going to put the pressure down but i think Marilyn should have it in time the question is, though, how much damage can they do with the four remaining players that are there? Everyone apart from the jukebox, basically. I wonder if Merlin will get it in time. It depends how quick they push through here. They um... There's no scouts rushing. I, th I think yeah. that is the main thing, right? Like, you you can jump with a demo, or you can jump with a soldier, but on the ground every second, that's not the way it works. You, you need scouts in order to rush a medic like that. I don't think you can do it with any other class. Um, at least not when they're this far off, right? Because you can see Cookie sitting in spawn, he's buying time, and Rip is sitting on point, dropping back with the rest of his team, so... Definitely. I think, I think they're going to be fine. I think, uh, I'm being told by Ari that apparently one of the players, not sure who, um, was lagging, so that was the reason for the pause. Um, so we'll take a look to see what will happen here. Um, uh, yeah, predictions, I would say that Merlin will get this in time, as to what will happen after. It's, yeah, like you said, it could be anything. Yeah. yeah, one fight mistake. Just, fight just keeps going, I guess. I guess that's the main thing of, uh, of just seeing what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us right here, this is Broder versus Epsilon Esports in the ESA, the Esports Association, um, based in Europe, basically. So if, if you, if you want to check them out, esagamer.com is the website where you can actually go and find them. They've been hosting Team Force 2 tournaments basically every Sunday, and they will do for the next 10 weeks. Epsilon Esports, Broder, Zaibatsu, Revolution Meta Game, who have folded, but they still made an appearance today. Um, they're all basically participating, and we're going to have to wait and see right now. Is this the grand final? Marilyn, 95%, and as you can see, he's going to have this in time, no problem whatsoever. Even being a little bit greedy and grabbing a couple of free picks here. Middle, not even close to getting capped. So, in honesty, it is still going to be very, very rough. They are going to cap this one off. They are going to have the forward spawns on their dead players. That is basically just Micah dropping out. They did get the Uber Force off, but the pick onto Shocky happens. And Kimberly, maybe a little bit too aggressive here to get out with Nomlock. They get the pick onto Rib, but with Nox going down as well, I, Epsilon aggressive as they always are, might have overstayed their welcome a little bit there. I did think there was a backup on. Here comes the soldier from behind. Mike is going up top. What is Mike going to be able to do? Mirrodin should be up to the surface, and now he's giving his position away. And uh, he's dropping. Yeah, there we can see. Dropping back. He could do. And they are still a medic down here. I don't know why they're not as aggressive, personally. But uh, yeah, I guess they were dealing with Gear, who was behind, I think. And they should get Yard for free, that's for sure. And you can see Shocky is looking on the left hand side to see if they are pushing. And now the scout from. Broder is saying, yeah, it's clear, guys. Clear. We've got the Uber advantage. Can we go rape them? You know, make it 2-0 and make it 3 all overall. Yeah. be great to see. You can see the soldier hiding. I've actually spotted him. Yes, I have spotted him. I saw the shadows. Mike still getting a lot of damage done on the server side. He got taken down. Does Merlin have an accurate count on the Nox Uber? I'm not sure if he does. Because if he did, Broder probably would have already double scout rushed onto the enemy medic. Yeah, middle, what are they uh, doing? Side. They are not doing it. There we go. Broder was the one asking for a pause. So that was the reason why they actually uh, uh, okay. stopped. It was probably Zebesai as well, if I can make an accurate call like that. And Broder realized, you know what, after all of that, our oh. are pretty even. Let's try and get a pick first. And they do manage to find one onto Gear here. And Garrett's the score right uh. now is even though. Five versus five as Cookie drops as well. Oh dear, but Cookie has gone down along with Jukebox and this is a, a very, very unorthodox push from Broda. I'm not sure what they're doing. I genuinely don't know what they're doing there. That made no sense to Uber. 
But I, I, obviously, I know why Mirror and Uber because of the grenades coming in, but I'm not sure what they were doing going from behind with the Uber as opposed to down to the floor. And Mirrorlin's going to go down. Yeah, he goes down. Ah, oh, dear. They they had that in the bag. Obviously, it was a bit unfortunate with Zeppelin lagging there, so they lost the Uber advantage, fair enough. But that was a very unorthodox push there with the Uber. And now, Mirrorlin just going down. Nox is going to have a clear 40 to 50% Uber charge advantage. And you'd think that this next round is pretty crucial to Broder, I thought I would think anyway. Well, Zubasar is going to pull out the spy. He's sitting right there. He has not been spotted. Now comes down. Has he been spotted? He's going to kill a soldier instead. And now comes in with the revolver. Gets a double, I think, onto Marilyn. I'm not sure how much... Or gets a double onto Nox. Now he got a single onto Nox. That's all right, though. Still going to be high on health. That's right now Epsilon Esports trying to make their way back towards that middle point. It's a cookie, actually. Oh, my God. That guy. Uh, sometimes I forget how unbelievably good of players Broder is. Where you see Epsilon playing the way they are. But Cookie right there showing his class, takes down Nox in a situation where he really shouldn't have. Yeah, <laughs> Cookie is, uh, but if you look at him on paper, he's like, in my opinion, one of the best scouts still currently in Europe. Yeah. He's not having the best season ever, um, but he's still so good that, yeah, he's still the top three in EU. But it's sure. like him not being the, not having the best season means he's not having 60 frags a map, yeah. right? Like that's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he put his own standards very high the past couple of seasons. He's very clearly, right, like... He is an unbelievable scout, and the pick there on St. Knox might prove to be very, very valuable. you got to keep in mind, scoreline still 3-2 here at the moment here on Golia Watch. We have 15 minutes left of the clock in the second half. Let's see what's going to happen exactly. Epsilon Esports finding a Broder here that has Ubert, and they've Ubert their way in, but I think they didn't think that Epsilon was that far back. I think they imagined Epsilon sitting into that yard. They did not hear an accurate call. Now they're going to try and make Numlock a play for it. Numlock actually goes down. Well played by Cookie taking him off, and the exchange still going into favor of Broder. But Epsilon Esports always keep in mind the individual strength of their players sometimes is absolutely unbelievable. You can see both of these teams, they were fighting for it. They're not letting it go. Kimberly picks up one, Gear picks up one. As Nox drops to the floor, Epsilon is going to have to fight Hold for on, this Marilyn. one. Rip gets one as well. Marilyn goes down to the rack of oh, Mike. Well and as Mike goes down to Zap, is Numlock going to try and clutch this one out? But he's only 100 HP. Can he get that kill no. right there? No, he cannot. As the Finnish scout Zap is the ringer for today, manages to pick up that frag. Middle goes in Broder's favor, but Epsilon Esports, they're not done playing for this one yet. They should be. They haven't got the spawners. So uh, they should drop back here and just be content. Nox will be calling that. I'm sure. Let's see the comms again here from Broda, just to see uh, how it's going for them. Because they're still, they're still in this. They are still in this match. Yeah. It went out. Right here. Level 3. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, let's take that. The door? The door bug. Yeah, yeah the door bug. <laughs> I mean, that's... Sorry, behind you. Is it 100? We... Check flank, please. Oh, Check sorry. flank. Take a rocket. Keep, keep going. Are we going? Yeah, let's do it. Wait, wait for crits. Wait for crits. We got 80 okay. crits. Come on. Oh, where you wanna go with it? Probably left. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. take spy in case you fail our backup. That's one now. Okay, jump. Okay, is it? Yeah, go, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Shoot out. soldier. Okay, I'm fine now. Solid up. Back up. There's a scout down though. Very interesting play. Here yeah, comes the there. spy, here comes the spy play, do they know? Does Epsilon... Oh, they know. I cannot believe that. Epsilon knew. Look at that. They have a medic and a soldier on last. They knew Zebesai was alive. They knew the chance of him being spy was actually right there in their faces. They pressed tab, realized there was a chance of it. They're going to make their way back. Marilyn decided to stick with that crit screen. But in honesty, <laughs> I love the Broda play out of that one. The idea was correct. But in honesty, they had 20% crits when Nox had 20% Uber. I didn't, don't think they built it efficiently enough. In order to make that one more. Epsilon pushing on the right hand side here. The flanks are actually really open. And now it's just like a middle rollout here. As if it was the start of a new round. And they remember them. But Zebesite is down here. And Broda are looking to maybe block this. Because there is a scout. Oh, there was a scout on second. But um, Nomlot takes him down along with. There is a scout still on second. Ooh. This is interesting. Look at this. Gear is not full health. Yeah, the crits oh, is ready. The crits is ready as well. Mox doesn't have it yet. If, if, if Rip can throw the crits, the gear he oh! goes. Oh my god, he gets him barely in time. And the follow-up crits from Jukebox lands as well, barely, barely in time. The timing of that was absolutely impeccable. And Broder right does side. exactly what they need to do. The backup might happen, actually. No, Shocky no, Shocky. kind of has Shocky. to go for it. Shock is not going back. He's going towards the second point. Wins the second duel as well. Now goes towards that middle point. And Broder, unsure of what they exactly want to do. They have Zap is sitting with this Medic Marilyn. I don't know exactly where they're sitting at the moment. I'm going to have to look for them, but they can assume they're at that middle. And in honesty, Shocky's going to go for this. Can he take it? No, he cannot. 
as Apis lands the shots needed, the meat shots are raining down. But Epsilon Esports, they are going to do what they love best, and that is at least annoy Broder until they drop a couple of players. Definitely, and this is still all to play for. For those just joining us, it's still 3-2 in favor of Epsilon Esports. Epsilon Esports winning the first half here, 3-1, and now Broder brought it back to 3-2, winning a round in the second half. And this round, like I said, Pledge, is crucial. Whoever wins it, I think, is going to be the deadly blow to uh, the team here in terms of winning this map. Maybe Absalom can recover, but they do still have crits here, and Nox almost has it. He will have it in, fi in time. In fact, they close the door just in case. And this is going to be... I mean, the ideal situation here now for Brodo is to force it and get out. But Merlin goes down to gear and Mike. And Rib goes down as well. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesus. Again, Rib seems to just be going down in at, at, at places where you really don't want him to actually die. It looks like Zap is going to put down some pressure. So is Cookie's always set aside, so but Epsilon Esports prepared for that one. Managed to handily sort of manhandle them right there basically. A load of the players are spawning. Marilyn Rib and Jukebox already walking out of that door, but there's a 30 to 35% advantage here in favor of the French medic for Epsilon Esports. They're gonna be able to play with that. Definitely and um if Marilyn builds this quickly, I mean frantically, he will have this in time to hold second because I'm pretty sure Nox and Co will take this a little bit slowly and gingerly because they have Lost their transitions, they've lost a little bit of shape here, moving in and out from yard to, to middle, and from uh, from middle to their yard, and so on and so forth. So, this will be interesting to see. Um, just taking a look at the stats for this, on this current round, obviously this round's been going on for ages, yeah. and basically it's just covered all in Epsilon, except for Rib. Rib actually coming out huge with the damage. Uh, Mike with 5,100 damage, then you've got Rib with 4,000, then you've got Numlock, Gear, and Shocky, 3,700, 3,500, and 3,000, so... They're actually going to fight each other here. Onto his left hand side. Jard Epsilon have to force a little bit early. Now, the question is how can Numlock lock him down? Yeah, he locks him down perfectly to scout the uh, cookie and Zappers need to be a little bit sure of Zebesai now running that sniper rifle. He's just off classing all over the place. I don't know if this is standard photo onto Granary, but he is. Can he let the shot though? He misses the shot. And Numlock right there. He did have a good effort, but in the end, barely missing that one out. You know, the trick's up basically. They know, they know what Zebesai is running. And Epsilon Esports, they know that they can basically free push this one if they spam correctly. Mike's going to try though, gets the pick on the seventh side, loses his own life for it though. And I think Broda's actually not going to mind that exchange at all. They might, it might feel like pressuring a little bit here. Yeah, um, it's very interesting to see Seven Side play the sniper role. Um, I, I, I knew, I, kn I just knew he was having an off day. So he did even admit it, like I said before previously. So um, we're going to excuse him because he's such a good. Good damn soldier, and that Numlock's gone! Numlock gets pressured by Cookie, and Numlock goes down! Numlock must be getting frustrated, because they are minus the demo at the moment. And it's Uber versus Uber, but they have no demo. Why is that soldier coming in? Jukebox needs to be very, very careful. Oh, oh dear, Jukebox! Oh, no, the spam is correct, weak. the spam is correct! Yeah, Gear can absolutely well trap there onto that top inside. Look at the pressure that Kimberly's throwing down, actually. Just throwing herself into that fight, not going down whatsoever. And it forced Broder to sort of decide between targets. They really couldn't, as there's about <laughs> there's about three players underneath 100 health right there. And now there's still two of them left alive under 100 HP. Zebesai gets the pick with the escape. Yeah, up top. Managed for him to get shot down to down to Cookie. And let's see if there's someone Shockey. on that top. That's oh, it's top Kimberly. Area. It's Kimberly, yeah. She's sitting onto that top hand side. Lands the first, not going to land the follow up one though. As Cookie does, I managed to get the kill onto her. She goes down. Obviously now there is a little bit of a window in which Broder might be able to do whatever they want to do. Nox does not have an Uber charge. They are missing Kimberly at this moment in time. Broder, if they want, they can pick up this middle for free if they do not get forced by Gear. Gear's gonna come in from the site though. Gets no, it. no, yeah, he does get a force onto Marilyn actually as the they second rocket cap. hit. And I think they're gonna cap and they're gonna get two frags for it actually, which they're is not what? too bad of an exchange. Yeah, they're doing what Epsom would do here, which is just brutally yeah. push forward while capping. Uh, at the very lowest rate, and don't forget they will get spawners. One of them will spawn in time here. They need to be careful about gear. Gear's just spawned. Ah, oh, he's shown himself. Rib, uh, Rib is already sticking forward. Yeah. He was paying attention onto that good, one. Good so job, Broder. good job, Rib. Yeah, well played to Broder, actually. <laughs> Keeping their heads cool, even in situations like this. And I can only assume that either Zebesai or Jukebox is going to suicide their way in onto this one, trying to get that Eber Force out. It looks like they're not going to get the Force just yet, but they do pull Epsilon out of the hole that they 
have carved for themselves. Look at that, Broder now, a couple of players onto that right hand door. Soldier jumps in, tries to get the damage done. Cookie gets taken down, takes that mic in exchange though. And Zebesai is going to run for his life, probably going to get chased by a couple of blues. Still alive though, he's going to try and come through on top left side. Scout Soldier chasing him out, and the shot from Shocky lands as the Uber gets forced there into main oh, yard. Both of these teams Uber, and once again, Rib is the guy who gets dropped mid Uber. This yeah. is not going to work out in Broder's favor whatsoever as Epsilon gets the forward. It's the German super duo of gear and Shocky take down two each, and Broder drops all over the place. Uh, hear the comms here from Broder. Let's exactly. go, Link Cap. In. Yeah, there is, there is. It's funny now. They're even thinking about the golden cap yeah. there, so it's not over just for them yet. There's still six minutes left on the clock. All they need is one round here, Broder. So well, That's right. They don't have Uber yet, but they will have it. Bye, on Mike! Go build it. Depression oh, right. garage? Yeah, garage. Yeah, they're pretty they drop on us. Maybe they're coming behind us. Yeah, maybe. Is someone on top? top? Are we, are we down? No. Yeah, it's only a stop now. Throw the counter top. Come on, okay. top. Okay. Oh, they're in top. Sc solid top. Coming top. Keep building up. David top, David top. They dropped. <laughs> I love the surf by Mirror. Oh, I'm down. Wow. Oh, what is that? All of them. Solid 60. Oh. Come on. Oh. Big scout is Oh my god, Zebo. Why are you sniper? I don't know. I didn't think it was white. Yeah. Okay, oh, two points. <laughs> See the question there, Pledge from Mirror and on to Zebra side yeah, saying, Oh my god, why are you sniper? It's a fair question, but yeah, it almost it's a fair answer. Like, Zebra side did not assume that right there, five people in this team would die to an uber disadvantage, right? They knew it was happening. Then they were all the way out. They were actually in perfect scenario, but they had to protect Marilyn. And doing that is basically just body blocking it out. Now, 4-2 to two is on the board. Two points left. Five and a half minutes on the board as well. Let's see if Epsilon can close this one out, or if Broder can pull the comeback of a century. And that's Nox going down again along with Numlock, and it's four versus four at the moment. Whoever gets the next frag is going to win, but there is a soldier behind. He gets doesn't take it down. In fact, Shocky takes him down, and now Jukebox gets taken down, and Mirrorlin as well. It looks like it's just going to be Rib alive. What can Rib do? Rib is up against Kimberly and Pistoly Scouts. Basically, he's in trouble. See you later, Rib. <laughs> and that's him dead. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. And uh, it's always the same rule, isn't it? Whoever gets that next pick when it's four versus yeah. four, three versus three, it's, yeah, it's going to be the win. And you can see already one of the scouts pushing forward, just making set and making sure that they can push into the yard for free. Scout will put off Broda here, surely, and make Epsilon maybe push forward. Uh, not just that, Nox running that crit streak once again. We've been seeing it throughout the entire season. The crit streak meta is a real thing here in Europe. That's what I tried calling it nowadays, the crit streak meta. And people have sort of been raising their eyebrows. What? We've not been running crit streak that often. Yeah, we kind of have. Uh, there's a lot of crit streak in the meta currently, and this is a, basically the proof of everything that I've been saying and everything we're about to see. Crit streak comes in. One shot, two shots, already kills. Now Kimberly with the follow up, lands a couple of meat shots, gets the triple. As actually Shocky steals that one. She does not get the triple, but she did get the double with the crit streak, and so did Nom Locked. So the damage has been dealt. But crit streak has been successful with the rib. Not getting the kills onto that one. And really, Broder probably. Has just not, not handed the game to Epsilon, but it is basically over at the moment. I don't think they're going to be able to hold this in time, and it looks like it's a good game. And it has ended in favour of Epsilon Esports here, Pledge. 5-3... 5-3... Yeah, yeah, that's right. 4-2, yeah, actually. 5-3. Yeah, 5-3, three. Three, wasn't it? No. 5-2. It, I'm quite. It is 5-2. I'm quite oh, yeah, certain yeah, yeah. it's 5-2, actually. It, it, oh, yeah, it, three, two. it yeah, felt yeah, like a 5-3. Yeah. I yeah, know it felt like it. a 5-3. That's but, correct, yeah. Sorry, uh, yeah. It, it is actually a 5 versus 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, Epsilon Esports is going to walk away with the prize money and with the Ozone Gaming gear that is going to be given out by the ESA Team Fortress 2 Open Cup. Number 2, actually, with number 3 happening next week and a cup on Thursday and a lot of different things coming out for ESAGamer.com. Please give them a shout. And also, at Ozone Gaming, you can find them on Twitter. Please give them a shout. I've done it earlier today as well. They're fantastic for sponsoring these tournaments. So please give them a shout. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We're going to go to the interviews in just a little bit. Um, but until that time, I'm guessing we have some music. I don't know how Vanilla TV <laughs> works anymore, but <laughs> you're going to have to explain that to me. It's cool. We're going to have the interviews now as they've actually joined us. Nox, Numlocked, <laughs> and early. Zebosite. Yeah, I know. And they're already registered, so we don't need to register them again. So hello, Nox, Numlocked, and Zebosite. Hey. Hello. 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 Um, congratulations, Epsilon. Um,
I'll probably start off, I'll start off with uh, Zebasai, I think, because you guys didn't... I've been Broder. This is no excuses, obviously, but you didn't get a warm-up or anything like that, is that correct? Because you were busy playing Highlander, or...? Yeah, but I think the warm-up would just, like, hurt us more than would help, because we would be so tired of the playing all, the all day long. Yeah, no, um, it did look like uh, you guys took a very long time to warm up. It looked like Badlands was your warm-up, because, yeah, Epsilon just... Yeah, did this... 10 minutes. Um... Throughout the, uh... Yeah, throughout all of that. So, uh, but you guys did put up a good, good retort on on Granary. Slowed the pace down, slowed Epsilon down quite a little bit, and I think Numlot, Was it fair to say you got a little bit frustrated in some scenarios, or because you got, kept kept on getting singled out by Cookie, for example, or Numlot? Not yes, watching some no. sides and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, um, I mean, going into this uh, this cup, did you did you think that you were going to win it all the way through, Numlot or or Nox? Like, yes. do you have any doubt? Okay. We thought we were going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> loving, the, loving the sheer confidence at the moment. And going through to the ETF 12 Grand Final, um, whoever it is, Zaibatsu or Broda, do you feel like you guys are stronger than ever at the moment? Or um, are you stronger like than... Okay, this is the probably more important question. Do you think you're stronger than you were last season? I know you had a Merc coming in with Walters, yeah. but... Definitely. I don't think we are. We are, bit, we are better because we know exactly what our mistake and we're gonna fix this. Okay. So you are the so. strategy man, so um, you will figure it out uh, coming through to the final. Um, Debasai, I mean, you guys obviously are coming to LAN, aren't you? Um, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Everything um, is booked. Excellent, that's really good to hear. So we're gonna have a couple of EU teams coming through. Um, but uh, going to the ETF to all final, uh, sorry, let's say playoffs for now. Do you think you'll, first of all, A, B, you're lagging out a bit for me. I didn't Sorry. hear that. Sorry. Shrim is lagging. I yeah, think. it's uh, Mumble is lagging. Okay. So, um, I was just going to say, uh, Zabasai is. Um, do you think you, first of all you'll beat Zaibat Zaibatsu uh, coming into the TF2 playoffs? Well, I don't see what we wouldn't. Like we've beaten them before. Our goal is, of course, to win it. So, yeah, we we hope to beat them. And. I mean, realistically, going forward, I suppose, because uh, of Numlock's sheer confidence, I'm <laughs> just saying yes. Um, do you think you can put up a, a Goliath uh, fight like you did last season? Because last season, Epsilon were shaking, um, regardless of what anyone says. The score was very, very tight, and it could have gone either way. Do you think you guys are stronger than last season uh, to put up a fight against Epsilon, or do you think Epsilon have got even more stronger to catch up with? Like, we definitely can put up a good fight, but the question is if we will. Like, we have the potential to do so, we're, we're a quite good team with a good lineup. So, yeah. I don't know. We, when, we have the potential to do so, but we'll see. When you're on fire, I've got to admit, when you're on full cylinders, you guys are quite a, a, you know, a force to reckon with, and I'm, I'm sure Nox and everyone at Epsilon know that. Um, it's very easy for, to look at this game and think, yeah, well, it's not going to be that much of a tight race, but I think it could be different if you guys sharpen up a little bit and have your full roster like you said and get it back to normal. Obviously Zappis has been filling in hasn't he? Um, yeah. he's do he does a good job but not quite the same obviously as, as Bibb and playing Pocket Scout I think with with Merlin. That's what I've noticed anyway. Yeah it's definitely different uh, like especially today where like Bibb and calls a lot more than Zappis and today I wasn't pocketing so I couldn't call that much either of course, so yeah, the yeah. calls was lacking a little bit there. Um. I suppose, Blitz, do you have any questions you want to ask? You yeah, ask us? I was just about the type to use. Like, hey, you should ask them now, <laughs> but no, in honesty, I, towards Numlocked and Nox, I know you guys have recruited Raymond as a medic to step in and possibly take over for Nox after I-49. My question is, what is Kimberly's role? Is she right now just a substitute? Because I've um, seen her play more than just being a substitute. What is the, the deal behind She her? is just playing back up for us while Bat is on holiday. Um, we didn't want to. We don't need another backup. We've already got Mitzi and Raymond, but Mitzi's not always available um, at short notice. Um, so we thought we'd better. And as, as well, we wanted to give someone else a chance. Like we gave Raymond a chance, someone that was kind of unknown and not a top prem player. Um, so we wanted to do the same for a scout, and got pretty lucky, I think. I I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago, and you said you weren't sure about her. What has changed over time? Um, I think she just got more confidence um, throughout playing with us. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Merking for Epsilon is no easy task, um, especially if you're, you know, Div 1 or Div 2 player. She listen and apply exactly the tactic or would play the gameplay. She she apply your organ play really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. 
That looked pretty much spot on. Um, that was basically the one question that I had in regards to Normal Locked. We actually heard you say, please, please, wait with the crit screen before you walk out of spawn. <laughs> I caught um, that we, we, we got that on team comms. It was pretty <laughs> damn hilarious. Also, the fact that you were having to taunt on middle, we also got that on team comms. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I think I think that bite guy, that, that bite guy, probably looks like ninety seconds into the future. Gets the intel and it's like, okay, right now I need to find the team comms for it to be hilarious. Um, on the other side, though, with regards to the Zebra side, I heard from Bite that earlier today you had issues with regards to Marilyn. That there was just some some issues within the communications. Um, was there was that a reason? why you guys ended up losing a couple of those pushes because they, they didn't seem coordinated or as, I don't know, as, as, as sort of smoothed out as I usually see coming out of your team. Well, I didn't pocket, so like that wasn't yeah. the reason now. But yeah, earlier it didn't go that well because me and Marlon didn't work good today. I don't know what we will do in the future if I'm going to pocket a roam. It depends when I get my new mouse if I feel confident, I guess. So everyone, we'll see. I'm gonna say it now. Everyone donate some money to Zebersai for a new mouse. No, so I have one on the way. I have one. On oh, the okay. Way, so okay, fine. I was trying to give you a free mouse, but anyway. <laughs> um, okay then. I mean, thanks for coming on, guys. I haven't got any further questions to add. Pledge to you or? No. I did, all oh. I want to say really is that there's actually a lot of people. I I think I got this question on Twitter about five times. Is Kimberly? Bash. That is the question that I got about a hundred thousand times. I cannot stress this enough. It is not Bash. It is a Team Fortress 2 player that came from the depths of ELO Hell, which is Division 1 <laughs> Team Fortress 2. Um, no, she, she just kind of trialed and got in for just being good, right? That's uh, yeah, we, we tried, we tried to, uh, quite a few scouts to name a few uh, Kimberly MSH. Those are the only two that I remember playing with. Um, and yeah, Kimberly stood out the most. Well, there you go. It is not bash, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wanted to get <laughs> Excellent. No, that's fine. Um, so I have nothing further to add. Thank you for joining us, Nox, and Unlocked, and Zabazai. Congratulations, Epsilon. Commiserations, Broda. Um, we, will, we will be looking forward to the um, playoffs coming soon from ETF2R, along with the Thursday. ES... It's Thursday. With the, with the ESA. Oh, it's on Thursday, is it? Between yeah. uh, Broda and Zabatsu. Excellent. We're looking yeah. forward to that. Um, there will also be, I'm sure, probably an ESA uh, Open Cup again for the Unlocks that people have been talking about quite a lot and I'm sure Numlot has uh, got some input on that as well um, whip. thank you <laughs> yeah the whip <laughs> no we said the GRE that's how it worked out <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah no thank you for joining us um, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching Vinyl TV and Vinyl TV 2 um, if you need to catch all of our latest information go to VanillaTF2.org and also go to our Facebook page facebook.com forward slash VanillaTV.org and like us and you'll get all the latest notifications of matches that we cast um, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, have, a, have yourselves a very good night, and thank you very much, Pledge, for joining us along with Ari. No problem, man. It's a pleasure. Take care.